In today's Health Alert, another COVID-19 vaccine has been approved by the FDA. The updated shot by Novavax is a more traditional vaccine and provides an option to mRNA vaccines. So joining us now is our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. And Dr. Nandy, what's the key difference between Novavax's shot and Pfizer's? Important exactly. question, right? So Pfizer and Moderna's vaccine yeah. uses mRNA technology, Glenda. This teaches the cells how to make a protein that then triggers or gets the immune response to go against the COVID-19. Whereas the Novavax vaccine, the spike protein, well, it's already pre-made and the shot also contains an additive that helps rev up the immune response. Now, protein-based technology, it's been around for a long time. Other vaccines that use this type include hepatitis B, HPV, and tetanus toxoid. That's not to say that the mRNA vaccine lack any credibility. The technology platform is certainly new to the public for us, but the research has been around since the, er since the early 1990s. As for the question of which vaccine works best, I don't think there's much difference between them. They all provide good response and target the XBB Omicron subvariants. However, when it comes to side effects like pain and muscle aches, we know about those. Novavax is reported to have fewer. And overall, these protein-based vaccines, Glenda, tend to have less serious side effects. So what age is this vaccine authorized for? And does the CDC still have to approve it? Or Yeah, important, important yeah. question. So people who are age 12 and up who were previously vaccinated but not have not have received the mRNA shot are eligible for the Novavax shot. Also, those who are unvaccinated can get two doses. As for CDC approval, it's already been granted, which is surprising. The agency's advisory committee had voted in favor of recommending updated monovalent vaccines targeting XBB as authorized or approved by the FDA. This is a little unusual, but the advisory committee had already reviewed Novavax latest data in a meeting in September. That means that the protein-based vaccine should be available very soon. And the company, well, they say that there are millions of doses ready to ship and will go to pharmacies and healthcare providers in the coming days. Once again, I talk about this like a broken record. I want to emphasize the importance of getting vaccinated. Why? Because COVID infections and hospitalizations are rising, and I expect numbers to continue to increase as we enter colder winter months when folks are spending more time indoors. Remember, COVID-19 vaccines, highly effective in preventing the most severe outcomes if you get infected, and they do not contain any live virus and cannot cause an infection. People think that sometimes. The best time to get an updated shot that will help protect against the current circulating virus uh, variants is actually now. I'll be getting mine this Friday. So listen, and people say, well, I'm not going to get infected, but you know, or, or get seriously ill. But if you get infected, you can give it to someone else that can get seriously ill. So I still recommend getting vaccinated and do it now. And that's the key piece is that it's not just about you. It it's about the, the community, yeah. right? And, and we've become a little bit of a me, me society. It's really about all of us and protecting those who are more vulnerable. All right. Thanks a lot, Doc. Hey, Appreciate my pleasure. you always. Of course. And if you have a health question for the good doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at AskDrNandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. We'll get it right to him.